Praise God and welcome. We're studying Concert Etude number 8 in F sharp minor. We begin with an F sharp minor chord way up here on the uh, ninth position. F sharp minor 7th chord. We arpeggiate it. And then we do a pull up with the 4th finger from the E to the C sharp. All right, down to an E7 chord in the seventh position. A little bit line here, starting on a D sharp, going up chromatically. Now we're at an F minor sixth chord in the fourth position. A little melody in the top voice. And uh, then we go to an E7 chord. Slide up to a B diminished chord. This is way up in the 10th position. Now we have a big shift, so I'm going to kick my elbow out and drop the arm down so that the weight of the arm takes the hand down to the second position. And we're going to have a D major 7th chord. Kick the elbow back and bring it up to the 5th position, continuing with this D major 7th chord. Kick it back and bring it up again to the 9th position, still the D major 7th chord. And one last time up to an F sharp, harmonics on a D and a G string. So if you look at that shifting, it's like this. Take it up to the high note. Now an octave C to B. And we have a G minor scale run here, anachromatically. Ending up with a B minor 7th chord with a flat of 5th. C minor 7th chord. And an F minor 9 with a melody in the top. A little bass run. Staying on the F sharp minor chord now. And some thirds, the melody will go to thirds. C minor, C sharp minor, I should say. C sharp major, F sharp minor. thirds gets to a C sharp chord and then we do a little arpeggio it's coming down and then back up octaves G to G sharp and I'm going to take this melody in thirds and put it way up higher thirds up here and with an A and a C sharp and I keep the F sharp in the bass because we're still in the key of F sharp minor and then D bar for the D. Get the thirds. Slide up and get thirds in the 10th position. And then a C sharp to open G. And then harmonics on the 12th, on the E string of the 12th fret. And then a G on the 7th fret. And then the B string on the 7th fret. And then the B string in the 12th fret. So it's and then we have back to our thirds this time one foot higher than where we started before and uh, F sharp to a D to a C sharp and an A down to a G and a B get a spread here and second finger and an A to a C natural and then to an F and an A to a C sharp chord with a bar. Little bass line, which works our way back up to the F sharp minor chord. F sharp minor seven. Arpeggio and slur, E seven. Just like before, a little chromatic run. F minor six. And our melody. Seven, B diminished. Let's try about this time. Let's shift way down to the D major seventh chord. Coming up with our shifting as we play different inversions of the D major seventh chord. Up to and our octave C's to B. Our G minor scale run. B minor seventh, flat fifth. 
this time to an A minor 7 to C sharp going back to an F sharp minor 9 now we work from a G sharp to an A7 and now we're going to change keys slightly for a little bit we'll be uh, here on the D major 7th chord down to D to an A chord with a flat at 5th here on the 12th fret and the 7th fret with strings. So this is the G and the E and then the D and the E strings. Now a B, um, then it goes to our back to our D major 7th chord. Strum it. Uh, a my, um, major 7th chord. B minor 7th chord. Now a D with an E so it's a D9 chord. To an E7. Changing keys here to a C9. Which gets us over to the key of F major now. We're going to start with an F major 7th chord. And we're going to go to a B flat here, but this will be the sharp 9 of a G sharp 9 chord. Back to an F. Ninth, and we're going to slide it back and forth here. One fret up and back down. And then we have a major seventh interval, which we use as a dissonant and slide down. Back to an F major seventh chord, to our G with a sharp nine, E seven chord. And then we're going to go up chromatically with our major 7th interval, starting on an A and a B flat, or 7th interval, I should say. B a flat, major 7th, to a C with a sharp 9, back to a B flat, and then our F9 chord, and we do the same glissando with thirds, and then we have a um, major 7th interval, but this time in the bass, and we slide it up. Back to our B flat major 7th chord, to our C sharp C sharp 9 chord. This time we're going to go to an A flat 9 chord here, way up in the 10th position. And then the open strings, which we use as kind of a colorful dissonance here. letting the thirds overlap each other and then we're going to start with a B flat 9 chord and it's going to go down chromatically so we strum it we go one fret at a time lifting up so each one is a little staccato Then we have a B flat, A flat, C, and an E. Harmonics on the 12th fret, the D string and the E string. And then we have a B flat chord with a C in the bass. Harmonics on the 7th fret with a D and E strings. And then we have a D flat 9 chord. I'm sorry, here it is. There it is. Uh, got the wrong chord. D flat 9, and then I do some octave harmonics now. I'm going to go an octave higher than the F, and then I go over to the E flat on the second string. So this is an octave higher. Each one note is an octave higher, and then I pluck it with my thumb when I put my index finger on the string. Then from there, we transition back to a recap of the first part of the song, F sharp minor 7th chord, E 7th chord, chromatic run, F minor 6, this time we varied a little bit, from 
possibility. E7 and our B diminished, which we arpeggiate. And strum. Big shift down to the D major 7th chord. Shifting up all those Ys. But this time we do an octave G up here and shift down to the B. And then the same scale run. B minor 7 flat 5. This time we're going to go to an A augmented 5th chord. C sharps. And now we have um, an ending. And this is going to be arpeggiated chords. We start with an F sharp minor 7th chord. Think of it that way. And we're going to strum to the cross. One note at a time, lightly. Shift up to an F sharp minor 6th chord. To an A 6th chord. A minor 6. Back to the F sharp minor 6th chord. F minor, F sharp minor 7th chord. F sharp minor 6. Oops. Here it is. Up to A6. And then we put the C sharp in for the A7, A6 chord. So A minor 6, to A6. Should have said it. Now we shift back down to a C sharp chord. But it has an open G in the middle for a little distance. A little dissonance. And then we shift it up. Still the same chord. And another inversion up here, keeping that open G string and to the open E, and then a B, and an open E, and then all the way up to the um, E sharp for the C chord, and again the open B string this time, and we do a backward strum, this E sharp here, to get that C sharp chord. Now we're going to start down here in an E sharp and a G sharp, six, and we're doing a glissando all the way up, up to the F sharp and an A six for the F sharp minor chord, and then we're going to have an A and an F sharp, and we do a backwards little strum with the index finger. Okay, so there you have the elements that are involved with the techniques in Concert Etude number 8 in F-sharp minor. I hope you can take something from that and apply it to your own playing. Take care. God bless.